Hello everyone, I hope you're taking it easy and your day has been great thus far. For this video we'll be going through an unboxing of the Cliff Jumper Kit, uh, Smart Kit 03. And this particular incarnation of Cliff Jumper is from the Transformers Bumblebee movie. And this kit was released um, in 2022 by Trumpeteer and Do Yusha. Now, I just had this literally come in last two, three days. It's been pretty new. Um, so I thought I would pretty much get the unboxing done and dusted for this and pretty much get them snipped out and joining Bumblebee and Blitzwing. Now, usually I'd get my stuff from Hobbylink Japan and Cliff Jumper is available from Hobbylink. I did get this elsewhere, um, but I'll definitely provide a link to Cliff Jumper at Hobbylink Japan, as well as some of these other um, Trumpeteer kits, especially knowing that the Soundwave and the B127 kits are now available for pre order. So definitely uh, start checking those out. I think the line is showing a lot of promise. So here we have Cliff Jumper, the third kit of the line, uh, RC being number four, and then we have, as I mentioned, Soundwave and B127, which is the Cybertronian version of Bumblebee uh, joining the line. So in terms of the box, we have the front of the box with a nice shot of Cliff Jumper in his very red and black usual motif. Be interesting to see how much is a bit of a carryover from Bumblebee. Um, also be interesting to see how much will be carried over to B127. Time will tell. So front of the box, um, we've already seen some of these kits so I won't dwell into too much for the other semantic parts of it. In terms of the box, so there will be some movability as to be expected. There'll be some very nice detailing. Uh, the included action stand, which I hope continues to stay standard. We have a front and rear shot of the completed cliff jumper kit. Uh, granted that um, those images have had some additional work done, so it won't be straight out of the box. And then lastly, we have some action poses, some of the weapons, as well as a shot with RC, with the disclaimer that RC is not included. She'll be her own release uh, later in the year. Um, top and bottom of the box pretty much look exactly the same. Um, and then we are familiar with the Autobot series. So Bumblebee has been done, RC is coming out, Cliff Jumper I'm holding, B127, coming soon. Um, I wonder if they'll get brawn out of the way and then move into some of the larger ones, especially knowing that uh, Ironhide and Ratchet will potentially be recolors. Time will tell. So that was the outside of the box in terms of the inside. So I'm just going to struggle opening this box. Okay, now that I've managed to open the box, we will have one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight bags of bunnies and bits. Interesting how Chris Jumper's head is ripped with some of the sand stuff, but um, it's on the sandal, and there will be the little instruction manual pamphlet uh, at the bottom. So that looks like it should have a nice array of runners through, through um, with the pre-painting coming back as well, so we'll have a quick look at that, uh, see if uh, it'll be three out of three having some good quality on the pre-painting. So I'll crack open these 
was going to say crack open the runners, crack open the bags to then have a look at the runners and the little manual that's included. And with everything now out of the bags and the box, so here we have the front of the instruction booklet for Cliff Jumper. Just a rehash of the front of his box. Uh, in terms of one half of the booklet. So your usual disclaimer text. Uh, we also have parts list. So still occurring in a bit of a three runner collection with the Z runners having a bit of extra stuff. The head, oddly enough, actually is attached to the Z runner. Interesting little factoid. Some of the action shots that we saw from around the box and then the color guide using Mr. Color, which is very nice. That's the general pretty side of the manual, in terms of the build side. Um, it does repeat the, the notion of um, no nippers required. It's somewhat true. Uh, when I was cutting out Bumblebee and Blitzwing a few days ago, there were a few pieces that would actually just happily come off the runners um, on their own. I did still prefer to use nippers just uh, for the uh, sake of having some cleaner cuts, but um, yeah, actually uh, these pieces do come off the runner quite nicely. So we have the body and the waist build, the left and right arm, uh, with the right arm having the option to mount his uh, gun, left and right leg, followed by the back, putting everything together, and the action base stand, which is quite cool. I really do like how these all have action stands included and then hopefully in a week or two I'll find out uh, what type of articulation is possible for us on these things. So uh, that was the little booklet in terms of the runners. So we have two A runners. Um, fundamentally they are that um, dark red colour. but. Some of these pieces have been pre-painted with some very nice looking gunmetal. And yes, the pre-painting is still on point. So that's one of the A-runners, and here is the other A-runner. Uh, yes, that is some very superb looking pre-paint. In fact, if I just flip this around to look at his uh, chest piece, that looks really good. So those are the two A runners. We have one B runner. Interesting how they do the injection for this, but uh, it works. So the B runner is essentially a grey B runner. Um, but there have been some pre-paints of various pieces. So some of these bits have the red applied. These have been given a very dark gunmetal, and lo and behold, there is a very nice small Autobot insignia on the back of what I assume is the foot. Talk about detailing. In fact, there you go, looking at it upside down as well. Very impressive. Um, truly remarkable for the pre-paint game um, for these kits. Interestingly enough, it does say Bumblebee version Beetle. So it makes me wonder if this is a bit of a recycle from bits from Bumblebee. Um, which is interesting because I don't recall these bits, which I suspect are part of uh, Cliff Jumper's back. But anyway, that was the P runner. We have a C runner. Um, one of the pieces actually has come off the runner itself, so just one of here, these bits here. Um, but I have clear view of it. In fact, I'm going to put it back in the box. 
Uh, so the two sea runners, I would dare say, in a bit of a metallic silver. Some have been pre-painted with a bit of a darker gunmetal. Uh, others have been given black treatment, which probably for some type of wheels. So those are the two C's. Um, we do have <clears throat> some individual pieces uh, in a little plastic bag. I believe this C14 piece is part of the waist. And there is the gun. So that's cool. So I'll probably keep these in there until I put everything away. And then for the Z runner, or Z, uh, we have the action based components, which we have seen before. They're exactly the same as Blitzwing and Bumblebee, um, with the added bit that um, there is a cliff jumper's head. Um, and it's actually attached to these little one of these little ball pieces so um it's actually not fully loose on the runner in the back which is actually kind of cool it's just basically be a case of just pop it off uh when the time comes really cool nice way of using some of the runner so that was the z runner so other than the cliff jumper head uh, that's exactly as we have seen in uh, previous kits so that brings us to an end of the unboxing of the cliff jumper kit uh, from Trumpeteer. Uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I will include a product link to Cliff Jumper and probably the other kits as well over at Hobby Link Japan uh, for anyone who is interested in picking up some of this line. I think the last I saw Sandwave and B127 were still on pre-order. Um, Cliff Jumper I believe was still freely pre-orderable. RC, I think, went on pre-order stop, and there might have been two blitz wings left. But this was also about a week ago, so take that with a grain of salt, and plus, subject to when this video is viewed, uh, things may have changed uh, furthermore. Thank you very much for watching this video. Feel free to leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the content. All of this does help support the channel. And I do greatly appreciate it. Extra shout out to all my current subscribers, new and old. Thank you very much for sticking around. Extra content can also be found on my Instagram account. Link below. Stay safe and take care. And I will catch you all in the next video. See ya.